I am Jennifer Coolidge, uh, lead curator at Mills Gallery here in Orlando. We're pleased to feature in the month of June an exhibition titled New Works by David Figueroa. David, welcome. We're so glad you're here. And we met several years ago at an art festival, and I was just literally drawn to your work, um, the aesthetic impact of the work with the large and the small work, um, the, the technical ability you have as a sculptor, and the authenticity of your work really drew me in. So we're thrilled to have you um, this month in, uh, at Mills Gallery. Oh, thank you, Jennifer. And I would like to thank you for the opportunity that you're giving me to be part of this next show. And also, I would like to thank you because you were a very, very big part of my career in the arts. Many years ago when we met and you were part of the, you were the director of the Museum of the Land. And think of you, one of my pieces is part of their permanent collection now. So I always, always very thank you of you. Thank you. Well, I have work in my permanent collection of you, so I'm very honored to have that. And, and I think uh, we wanted to give everyone a sampling of some of the works that they may see in the exhibition. And um, why don't we talk about some of the smaller works? I know you, your works are really monumental as well. We'll have small works and then medium sized, different sizes. Talk about th these pieces. I think we've got three different examples together here. So start with this one. Yes, I usually work with big pieces. I here have in front of us just three small samples of my work. This particular piece, I enjoy making this piece a lot. This section over here of wood to me represents something that is changing or growing. It can be a organ of your body. It can be a condition that you didn't have many, many years ago and it's part of you now. And the steel to me is what is inspecting or protecting this organ of part of your body that is not the same. In some of my work, I use this type of element with I like to call invasive bodies, referencing when something that is in your body now that was not there many years ago. One of my big influences in my work is my family, uh, especially the ones that we left behind in Puerto Rico when we moved in 2000 from Puerto Rico. Uh, my brother passed away, my sister passed away at a very young age, and now my mom is going through, my mom is going through some health issues. And even with me trying not to think much about it, because it bothers me, but it's still, I know, it's, it's, it's still part of my everyday creating of works. They're still influencing you even Definitely. though they're not even not even here Definitely. not even here and, and 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 this one too is so this second piece that i have here i've been playing more with colors and shapes trying not stepping away because i still work with the dark mm -hmm. age age side of the wood but this one i wanted to do something more bright and colorful and more fun and as you can see I add some red inside this piece mm -hmm. and again I have these square elements again which I also have in this piece which I call them invasive bodies which is those bodies that are in this inside or attacking or changing this organic shape with again for me something that is changing or not the same within time. You have um, contrasting work over here yes. And so why don't we pull these aside and, and speak about... Yes, let me show you this. Okay. This is just a sample of these new works that I'm doing, which I'm very, very, very excited about it. I'm playing more with the forms, the shapes, and paint, which I usually don't use paint in my work. Uh, colorful. Uh, every time I finish one of my works, you have to go through some of my more of critics which are my daughters and wife I bring them into the house and based on what they said they enjoy them a lot just the color and the, the forms the way they can position them in the wall in different forms and I guess if they approve it but I'm really 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 happy with this where this new work is going so these seem to be so much um 
more masculine um, and almost maybe preconceived in a way that really planned out. And then this seems so much more improvisational and feminine, uh, or more feminine-ish. Yes. And so um, I can see the family, you know, your daughters must be influencing a little bit of your direction with these and they must be really fun to create they are they are and let me tell you sometimes i don't even i i have the shape without the color mm -hmm. and i bring them to the garage workshop and they even help me choosing some of the colors that i end up using and it surprised me because it's been it's really hard for me to use colors right. oh most of my work has been dark age right. steel this is something that it is hard for me, but I enjoy it a lot. David, it's such an honor to be able to feature your work here at Mills. Um, your work has really struck me on such a heart level and the authenticity of it. Um, that's why I'm so pleased to have works, uh, work, works, your works in, in, in my personal collection. And I know it's really going to resonate with our audience. Thank you, Jennifer.